mean when you hear a tearing sound in your groin? Either you're through for the day or you have a double hernia. It's been a week. We got more boxes now than when we started. Maybe they breathe at night. <laughs> I didn't show you what I found in the closet. Would you throw that out? George, it's autographed. To Guido. Thank you for the roses. Love, Jennifer. We know what she did for the roses. George, Jennifer Farrell was a legend. Jennifer Farrell was a tramp. <laughs> On your left, ladies and gentlemen, the home of the world's most famous movie star, Jennifer Farrell. Six times a day. Wonderful. You can take as many pictures as you like. Would you get those people off my lawn? <laughs> Kid tinkling on the avocado tree. Dad, there's a kid out there. I know, I saw him. What do you say we go back to New York, huh? Did you forget something, dear? He has no friends and nobody likes him. Marilyn, go pack your suitcase and put your mouth in it. Where's she going? Brenda Kelly's family invited her to Lake Arrowhead for three days. Because I'm a warm person and make friends easily. <laughs> You having a tough time? I'm just not into these California kids. You know, there's a girl in my class who owns a Mercedes. Isn't she a little young to drive? Not a car, Mom, a dealership. <laughs> and if one more guy asks me how it feels to live in Jennifer Farrell's house, I'm gonna run him down with my bike. You don't have a bike. Then we'll just have to buy him one. <laughs> Jennifer Farrell died five years ago. I know. I'm a ghost. <laughs> I guess you're going to call your father now. Dad! Won't do you any good. Nobody else can see me or hear me, just you. Besides, I'm not too crazy about your father. He's too opinionated, and I hate cantaloupe paint. <laughs> you don't rain fruit, you eat it. What is it, Joyce? Hey, Dad. Don't you look like Jennifer Farrell? Doesn't who look like Jennifer Farrell? Heard of what? The tramp, George, remember? <laughs> Dad, I'm looking at a woman who's telling me she's the ghost. I wouldn't tell him that if I were you. He's gonna do your room in rubber wallpaper. Joey, did you skip lunch today? Bottom drawer, next to the bed. What? What? Open it, hurry. Oh, you mean the picture? <laughs> Another tasteful pose. Made the cover of time, George. <laughs> you okay, Joey? Fonda. <laughs> All right. Who are you and what are you doing in my house? I told you, I'm a ghost. Yeah, and I don't buy it. All right, what do you need? Walk through a wall. Your closet's a mess. How'd you do that? I'm a ghost. It's the first thing you learn. Ghost, huh? Look, lady, I'm 14. I know there's no tooth fairy, there's no Easter bunny, and there's no such thing as a ghost. How'd you do that? Buy it, kid. 
Knowing me is going to change your life. <laughs> hey, Linda, how's New York? Yeah, I wish I was there with you. Oh, yeah, I'm meeting new people. How about the kid next door, Mark? You know how they sell maps to the movie stars' homes? He sells keys. <laughs> yeah, he's a real hustler. Between Hello and Joey, he borrowed two bucks. Who's Linderman? <laughs> Don't do that. Just ask who Linderman is. Can I have some privacy? <laughs> okay. She's 14, she's my girlfriend, and she's a cheerleader. Susan, who's Joey talking to? Debbie Linderman. Come over here. Look. The lady is calling from New York. That's money. She's not paying to hear me argue with you, so would you mind just doing your nails somewhere else? Your son's talking to a lamp. <laughs> He's talking to an imaginary friend. A what? He's lonely. It'll pass. What if I said his imaginary friend might be Jennifer Farrell? I'd say your son has very good taste. He's a lousy actress. She'll make a lousy friend. <laughs> it changed my room. I hate it. How can you hate better? So this is my room now. You got no right messing. You lined my drawers. I had to. Your sweat socks were eating through the cedar. I don't believe this. Linderman knew I was talking to a ghost. She'd have a stroke. So what do you hear from Casper? I hate that kind of humor. So move out. Besides, I already have him one. I'm not your mother. You cleaned my room. Eric the Filthy would have cleaned your room. <laughs> Trade the money for what's in the box. No money, please. Why don't you see what's in the box? You want to see what's in the box? You loan them two dollars. You talking to me? I have no my money, please. I'll tell you what's in the box. I don't care what's in the box. I care what's in the box. All right, what's in the box? Telephone numbers. Girls, telephone numbers. Oh, yeah. I guarantee one of these babes is going to jump start your pajamas. <laughs> Take a number, what the hell? <laughs> so much for adventure. Oh, listen, a group of us are going down to the beach. Want to come along? Yeah, I don't go. You could use the color. I don't think so. You don't think so? I'm having a party Friday night at my house. Could I interest you in that? I don't know. Oh, go to the party. Oh, you butt out. <laughs> I was just asking. And besides, I'm over here. Look. Mark, I'm kind of busy. You're also kind of weird. <laughs> Thanks for the loan. And next time I'm over, I'd love to meet your chair. <laughs> Sheesh! Are you boring? I got more life than me, and I'm dead. Mark, knock your sheet. Get out of here. You're closing yourself off. I'm not interested in meeting new girls. I have Linderman. What is so special about Linderman? Red hair. Freckles. Last month, she torched her training bra. <laughs> Smell the air, Joey. They torch him here, too. You want to help me, right? Right. You got powers. Bring Linderman here. Powers? I go away, I come back. I'm a ghost, not a travel agent. <laughs> now you help me. You gave me a terrific idea. Idea? What's the idea? Don't you have some old movie lot you could haunt? <laughs> you don't want to answer my question, don't answer it. But cheap shots get me real mad. You can disappear. I can't. You don't play fair. We're beginning to understand each other. Where did you better get dressed? We're expecting.
you buy eight? These toggle bolts ought to hold it. <laughs> Susan, you look beautiful. I can't believe we're going to a garden party in January. I love California. I wish Joey did. Isn't Mark's party tonight? Yes, I think he's going to go. George, I've never seen him happier. Get out of my house and get out of my life. <laughs> Maybe once at the zoo. <laughs> crazy about Linderman. You're the one who showed me how to go with my feelings. Well, I'm going with them. I didn't mean on the red eye to New York. <laughs> Joey, it's what? Joey, it's wonderful to care about somebody. But do you know what's even more wonderful? What? To care about two somebodies. Huh? That's sick. I'm no two somebodies. We all have the capacity to love more than one person. <laughs> oh, my father mentioned your capacity. <laughs> Your father's a cucumber. <laughs> I'm talking about relationships. I have Linderman. Local relationships. Like the kind you might find at Mark's party. Now get unpacked, go downstairs, and get your buns over there. <laughs> These buns are going to New York. <laughs> Do your parents know about this? I'm going to call from the airport. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. That way you won't have to look at your mother's face when she faints. <laughs> You're not going. Try and stop me. <laughs> Joey, we're leaving. It is time to go. Yeah, I'm gonna go. That's great, Joey. Look at you, all dressed up, got your dancing shoes on. My kid's gonna fly tonight. So to speak. Wonderful <laughs> time. I will. Bye, darling. Okay, so long. Somebody wants you to have it. Thanks. Yeah, look, while I'm here, I owe you an apology. I mouthed off at you the other day. Forget it. No, no, no. Should have known. Brooklyn, two years ago. <laughs> it's not easy being the new kid on the block. So listen, you're still invited to my party. Hey, thanks a lot. You can bring a chair if you want. <laughs> <laughs> I was just kidding. <laughs> of course, if you come, it's five bucks. Everybody's chipping in. It's not just you. So don't worry about it. See you later, Joe. It's really nice of Mark to invite me to his party again. You know, you're right. I think I will stop by, you know, meet some new kids, check out the guacamole. Good <laughs> for you. Her life. 
Now, I'm sure she thinks about you and cares about you a lot, but she also knows you're 3,000 miles away. Now, how do you make that work when you're 14 years old? Well, we could write, talk on the phone. Or... And you have to get another somebody. Or two, or six. <laughs> yeah. I got a confession to make. I know when you look at me. Only one word comes to mind. Swinger. <laughs> but don't let my hot image deceive you. Debbie Linderman's the only woman I've ever been with. I don't think I've been with her. <laughs> what are you afraid of? Starting all over again. Have you ever seen any of my movies? Yeah, I saw one. Gorilla three off a cliff. <laughs> Not that one. <laughs> Goodbye yesterday. Huh? Our story opens in Toledo, Ohio, where Helen Novak, the girl I play, is 18 years old. She had a cruel and insensitive father who threw her out of her home. Girls who sing in bars are bad girls. So she took the first bus out of town. Cut to New York. Her first job as a chorus girl. And she danced. And she danced. And she danced. And she hated it. This is a boring movie. Everybody's a critic. <laughs> Enter Jacques Tulane, the French impresario. French what? He had a strip joint in Paris. <laughs> you come to my club, you sing a little bit, you dance a little bit, we make you a big star. Well, Helen never looked back. Cut to France, where at night she would and during the day, she would teach ballet to poor little orphan children. You've got to be kidding. <laughs> but by this time, she'd fallen hopelessly in love with Jacques. It was New Year's Eve. They were alone. The music played. The champagne flowed. And then Jacques decided to tell her about her. Who? Her. Claudine. The other woman. Don't leave me, Jacques. Without you, there are no songs. Without you, there's no one. Without you, there's no air to breathe. This isn't a movie, is it? This is about you. Your father threw you out? Yeah. That, uh, French guy? And the orphans, I swear to God. <laughs> you, uh... You never went back. You can't go back. Joey, everything that you ever need is right here. Your home, your family, your new friends. All you have to do is see them. I miss my plane. I'm going to bed. You better answer that. Joey live here? Yeah, it's me. Hi, I'm Cassidy. I don't know why, but Mark thought you might have my other shoe. Oh, somebody sent it to me by mistake. Hey, you don't just hand a woman a shoe. <laughs> what? I'd like my shoe. Joey, look at her. What about her? What about my shoe? Would you open your eyes? She's a knockout. She's already smiled at you twice. My shoe, please. Thank you. Oh, uh, Mark said he invited you to his party. I hope you're coming over. I'm going where you're going. <laughs> Wasn't this Jennifer Farrell's house? That's what the tour guide says. I'd give anything to live here. 
Move in, we got room. Morning. Morning, Dad. Mm. Morning, Mom. Morning. Hey, how was Lake Arrowhead? I got a heat rash. Mark and Cassidy and a bunch of us are going to the beach. Whatever happened to California? <laughs> Changed my mind. Change allows for wonderful things to happen, like the way you met Cassidy. Almost seems like someone planned it. <laughs> yeah, but who could have known? I think I forgot something in my room. I'll be right back. That's so funny. Me. You know, for a while there, I actually thought Joey was talking to the ghost of Jennifer Farrell. Joey talking to ghosts? I go away for three days, my brother has a breakdown. Who put on your ointment, dear? George, Joey's just fine. Besides, there's no such thing as ghosts. I know. Even if there was a committee choosing ghosts, they'd never pick a bimbo like her. Marks, and I saw the kids dancing and kicking up their heels, and then I spotted Cassidy, so I picked up her shirt. So you stuck your nose right into my life. You staged a major production just to keep me from going to New York. So? So? <laughs> now, but a guy says thank you. You're welcome. Hey, that smile looks good on you. Yeah, uh, you know what? What? I got a Dear Joey letter from Linderman. Are you upset? How can I be upset? She's going out with a guy from Newark. Well, now, Newark's not such a bad town. I did a benefit there once for Father Guido's church. It's the first time a priest ever gave me roses. <laughs> Tell that to your old man sometime. Hey, uh, yo. Well, uh, that outfit you got on, it's making me, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. Why are you in it? Well, you said you were going to the beach. And on your left, ladies and gentlemen, the whole famous movie star. You mean everywhere I go, everything I do, you're going to be there? I'm going to be there. I don't like it, Farrah. What's not to like? All you have to do is be on your toes 24 hours a day for the rest of your life. That's not fair. That's not fair. Hold it. And it was written of Jennifer Farrell that when her star vanished, the heavens glowed a little less bright. Oh, I just love that part. <laughs> Next on the Facts of Life, a new student steals Blair's guy. Then on the Duck Factory, will the network cook Dippy Duck's goose? Later on the Emmy-winning St. Elsewhere, Wendy's attacked by a member of the hospital staff.